Good morning everyone. Welcome to another amazing day of fishing. Today we're going to do it in Port O'Connor and uh, the weather conditions for today are they're, they're eh, so so. We have an eight mile an hour wind out of the south southeast and a slight chance of showers 30 percent so we're gonna see how that plays out towards the end of the day but Port O'Connor has always been such a magnificent place to fish so uh, I'm just gonna enjoy myself today and check this out if you are used to fishing on the Texas coast look who I got with me one of the old-school old-timers the guy who started it all off we're gonna be fishing with Ty and Teresa of 30 miles out so uh, you're in for a special treat Had somebody going after it. <laughs> Little beady mud chicken. That fella eating a lure that's like half its size, three quarters of its size. That that redfish couldn't have been but that big. <laughs> Guy must be hungry. So we'll put this away. We'll start out throwing the hoagies and see how that's going to play out. Here we go. Boy, that was like nothing. Absolutely nothing there compared to that top water. It's like slinging a brick. This right here was super light on the cast. You can see it trailing a little bit like a darn needlefish. Oh, he got him. <laughs> it is another little trout. <laughs> he was watching it the whole time. All right, buddy, you're gonna have to settle down before we even try to reach inside there and get that off of you. Okay, here we go. Nice and easy. Okay, easy does it. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, he took that off himself. I'm not even going to show him to the camera. Let's just get that guy off. Get him out. He's got a lot more growing to do. Uh-oh, they're, they're behind it now. I saw the flash. That's the beauty of the sun being behind me. It's like a flashlight. If it's behind you and it's going that way, you get to see everything. And so when them fish come and they take a swing at it and they miss, they go broadside and you see that flash. If you can, you need to use the sun to your advantage. Only if you can. And today that happens to, oh, I saw him just come and flash up on it. Yeah, we've, we're in a school of little dinks. That's what's going on. A school of little beady dinks. We got this fella. Whoa, 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 please do not. You gotta watch out what you're doing. Look at this, look at these guys. They're waiting. They're waiting for me to release this fella. Son, you're gonna have to run the gauntlet, okay? <laughs> May the odds be ever in your favor, however they say it for the Hunger Games. Look at that. There they go. <laughs> you got to watch out because those fellas will push a big old huge wake on you. Oh, look at that. Took my eye off of it. Power pole down. Oh, it's a redfish. Got us a little mud chicken working on a nursery slam, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot have this guy. Boy, they heard it. <laughs> He's making a beeline over here. So a word to the wise. Um, the reason why I let this, I'm letting these fish go facing the dolphins, uh, you don't put 
an obstacle in front of the fish. I learned that the hard way. So the dolphins over here, you let it go on this side. Because you let it go over here, well, they'll just run straight through your kayak. Don't ask me how I know. Bro. Come on, there we go. Get that out the way. Look at that, he is like literally right. Here. And we reach into the bag of tricks for nothing more than the slob knocker. Since I'm tying directly to the lure, we're gonna use the polymer knot. That's the one that will not slip. In my experience, it's been the best holding knot that will keep your lure on and uh, your knot is not going to get out from underneath you. Now, by doing this, uh, I'm more susceptible to losing this thing. Uh, it's an expensive lure too, to the oyster. So, hopefully we ain't going to get snagged up. And this spot right here really doesn't have any oysters, so we should be fine. And... Here we go. Let's see if this guy can bring him in. The beauty of this lure too is that it works itself. It's just a stop and go type thing. I mean, look at that. Look at the rod tip. <laughs> it's like, There's a motor boat and lure. And boy, does it have an ability. Oh, we're probably gonna have to get closer to the grass line because that's where it really shines when it's over that grass. As a matter of fact, we're gonna power pole up, let the wind blow us a little bit closer to it, and let's see what we can do. There we go, we're getting we're getting tapped. I think we're on. Yeah, we are on. Wow, that guy didn't even really bite much. Here we go. Oh, he just got off. Nope, he's coming at the boat. Coming at the boat. All right, backing it up. I didn't even have to set the hook, everybody. Oh, we got us a little bit of chicken. So y'all hear the drag going, that's because this is a 500 series. This is something that you catch crappie with and we're using an ultralight if it was a... Yep, it's an ultralight setup and uh, we've got five pound braid with a... Oh, that is straight braid. Actually, we got a leader on? I cannot tell. Either way, uh, a nice red first one of the day. Look how beautiful and amazing this fella looks. <laughs> nice tender meat. Check that out. These guys are so beautiful. If you've never been to the Texas coast or any of the coastline that has these fish, uh, you've got to experience it at least once in your life. Bring an ultralight out and these guys are just absolutely amazing, gorgeous. Normally they'll have that blue tail, but in this case, he doesn't. He's drumming like, hey, quit talking about me. Just put me back inside the water. And that's what we're going to do, buddy. There we go. Oh, wow. I'm going to get him on video. All right. We got an alligator coming at us. Just curious. So let's see if we can pull the camera out in time. He's probably a good four footer, maybe. Five foot. Well, ladies and gents, I wish that I could say it was a spectacular day. It's a spectacular day of life, let's put it that way. When you get to come out here and do fishing as your job, this is your occupation, well, there's no stress involved. It, everything is just beautiful. Now, to say that it was a spectacular day of fishing would be a long stretch. We got skunked. A bunch of little dinks. 
And when I say a bunch, I'm talking like maybe a handful. I'm trying to stretch the truth to make myself feel better. Um, but yeah, it, it was a, I don't know. It was an old fashioned beat down behind the woodshed. Uh oh, look at that. We got us a little beauty fella. Look at this. Holy cow. This is the kind of day that it was. <laughs> I trade you for a can of sardines. Look at this. L look how beautiful this guy is. Oh my gosh. Such a beautiful fish. His one little tooth. He's croaking. But them spots. Such a beautiful fish. Whoa, buddy. Can't go in the cup holder. You can't triple stamp a double stamp Lloyd. That's the kind of day it's been. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Because I've been so blessed to be able to do this as my occupation, and that's because each and every one of y'all continuously watch, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for making my dream a reality and being able to come out here and fish. So, if you enjoyed it again, you know what to do. Click that thumbs up button, and until next time, tight lines, y'all.